Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Modern Billet Mesh Upper Grill Overlay in black, available for the 08 to 14 Challenger. You should be checking this out. Very simply put, if you're looking for a more customized, personalized, aggressive front end compared to your factory upper grill, this one here is made using all original OEM CAD data from Dodge to be a perfect fit over top of the factory grill without having to actually remove it and disassemble it from your front bumper. This one's gonna bolt right up to the front and all you have to do is get your front bumper off to gain access to the back to bolt it down together. Now because it's a steel construction, it's gonna be a little bit more durable than your factory plastic so it can take the beating of daily driving and it's definitely gonna be corrosion and rust resistant thanks to the black powder coated over top of that steel. The tight mesh design is pretty unique in the category. It's something I personally like. It's much different than the factory option, but it is pretty subtle at the front end. Because of the matte black finish, it blends in really well, and then up close you can, of course, see the big difference there. Now the price tag for this one comes in right around 150 bucks, and you can even take it a step further and pair it with the lower grill that's matching it from Modern Billet to really complete the front end look. The install, I'm giving one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It'll take you about an hour from start to finish. Again, a really simple mod, but it does require the removal of the front bumper. And I'll take you through the entire process there with very simple hand tools. What do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include an impact gun, panel removal tool, seven and 10 millimeter deep sockets, swivel socket is recommended, ratchet, and a couple of extensions. Unfortunately for this install, we do have to take the front bumper off. There's just not enough room underneath of the factory radiator shroud to get your hands behind that factory upper grill. But taking the front bumper off isn't terribly hard. It's just a little bit more time consuming. Now the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is pop our hood, remove that radiator shroud by hand, and then we'll take some of those pushpin clips off, holding the bumper to the top end. All right, through here, we're basically just gonna lift up on this guy and set it aside. Same thing on both sides. Next, we can lift up on these push pins. We only have to do the ones on the black plastic, not on the color match paint underneath. All right, now in each of the corners by the headlights, there's one 10 millimeter nut. I'm gonna use my swivel socket, extension, and deep 10 socket to get that off. Same thing on the other side. Next up, we're in the wheel well here. Grab a panel removal tool and get these three push pins off. In the wheel well here, we have one more 10 millimeter holding on this mud flap section that's also holding our bumper in place. So grab your 10 socket and get that guy off. Next up, we have to peel back our wheel well liner. There's one 10 millimeter nut holding the bumper to the fender on each side. The stud is about here, halfway up between these two curves. Now, you're never gonna see this, but using a long extension, a swivel socket, and a 10 millimeter, you can go straight back and get it off. So once you get it loose, you can put your hand back there and remove the nut. There it is. Again, just sticking out right there. Do the same thing on the other side. Next up, we have the vehicle up in the air, but of course you can do this on the ground as well. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter socket to remove the seven screws all across the front end here. There are a couple Phillips heads as well. Some of ours have been replaced, so they're kind of mix and match. Get those off, then we have two tens in the back and a couple of panel clips, so let's get those off. All right, grab a panel tool on each of the wheel wells. There's one push pin clip we want to pull off. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, now we can pull the belly pan down and set it aside. Next up, we can pop our bumper off. Disconnect it from the wheel well areas on each side. From there, you can lift and set it down. Next up, we can install our grill to the front end of our bumper. Of course, we have the bumper off so we can gain access to the back end of the factory grill. Now, ours already has the studs pre-installed on the back end. If yours are not, they're included in the kit, just thread them right on. With that said, we're gonna lay it in place. All right, from the back side, we can see the studs coming through the back of the factory grill. We wanna put one of the spacer plates on first, follow it up with one of the seven millimeter nuts. 
thread that guy all the way down, make sure it's nice and snug. Do the same thing for the other stud right above. Okay, from here, grab a seven millimeter deep socket and tighten them down. Okay, repeat that on the other side. All right, next step, now that we have the grill installed, we can pop our bumper back into place and start reassembling. Next, you can do the 10 millimeter nut in the corner right above the headlight. And again, I'm using a swivel socket on an extension with my 10 deep socket. Repeat that on the other side. All right, next we can put our push pins through. Next up, we have to put the 10 millimeter nut back in where the fender meets the bumper. Of course, peel your wheel well liner back, stick your arm in there and get that back on the stud. All right, once you get it on a couple of threads, grab your extension, swivel, and 10, and tighten it down. Repeat that on the other side. Next, we can put that mud flap back on with our 10 millimeter. All right, now we can put the push pin clips back in. repeat on the other side. Next up, we can put our belly pan back in place. You just wanna make sure it's seated properly on each side and then line it up to the holes. I'm gonna start by tightening down the two 10 millimeters at the back. Lastly, pop those plastic clips back in, repeat on the other side, and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Modern Billet Mesh Black Grill Overlay available for the 08-14 Challenger. You can get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.